again, everybody. This is your own Scott Madry right here at the beautiful ISU campus in Strasbourg, France. We're starting week two of the SSP 13 program, and now it's time for What's Up in Space. Hi, I'm Jim Green. I'm the head of uh, Planetary Science Division at NASA. And so I have a wonderful opportunity working with the Planetary Science Community to really see what's hot. And so for that, one of the first things I want to mention is about the outer solar system where it's actually cold. Cassini is flying around Saturn. Cassini has been observing Saturn now for several years. But just recently, it saw something very unusual in the rings. The rings shook. Shuddered, if you will. That shuddering we now know was an enormous planet quake that occurred inside of Saturn. Now that's pretty spectacular. We've never seen that before from a gas giant, something the size of Saturn. So the planetary scientists have got to, you know, scratch their head, go back to work, and find out what the heck is going on inside that planet. Hi, Jim Green again. Speaking of something really hot, we'll go back out to the outer planets. Cassini is flying by Titan, and it's watching Titan now go through its seasons. Titan is this enormous moon that's bigger than Mercury, although it's smaller than Mars, if we were to pull it out of the orbit around Saturn and put it around the Sun, we'd call it a planet. It has its own atmosphere. But what's even more exciting is we found that on the surface of Titan are methane and ethane lakes. It's so cold that the gas methane and ethane becomes liquid. Now what we've been seeing, the seasonal changes on Titan, are really blowing our mind. The northern hemisphere is getting dark, it's going into uh, winter, and the methane lakes are icing up. We're, we're seeing icebergs of ethane floating on the lakes. There's also evaporation that's gone on and transport, and we're watching new lakes form in the southern hemisphere. It's literally raining methane on Titan right now. My name is Gary Martin. I'm the director of the SSP-13. I work for NASA uh, at NASA Ames Research Center in Mountain View, California. And uh, I really love space. And I love part of being part of the International Space University. Uh, some of the things that are happening this week um, that I think are really important that are changing what's going to happen in the future is that, uh, for instance, SpaceX just uh, passed two more of its milestones. It's got to pass 14 milestones because before it becomes the first private company to be able to send humans to orbit. And so right now there's, uh, there's 14 milestones in, uh, in total. And they expect to have them all passed by mid-2014. And to me, that's really going to be another giant leap of change for humans uh, ultimately getting off this planet, where a private company uh, is able to send people to orbit and send people to places in orbit. Uh, and one more thing uh, that happened this week is also exciting coming out of Ames uh, from a group that I work with very closely uh, and the Space Frontier Foundation. We're putting out a new plan, a new competition for new business plans. It's got has $135,000 worth of prizes. The first prize is $100,000. And it's going for teams to show why their pro products, the things that they do, benefit space, benefit the opening up of uh, exploration and development of space. So, if you have a, if you're a small team, there you can't be a, an established business. They're looking for new startups or uh, teams that are just getting together, or they're maybe just been together for a few years. 
teams of four to five people can compete. And as long as over 50% of the people in the team are U.S. citizens, they can compete. So internationals can compete. So I'm hoping that many of you uh, out there are, are already have your ideas underway. They have to be submitted before August 22nd of this year. So please look for it online. It's, uh, it's worthwhile. Hello. I'm uh, actually Chris Sauerberger, uh, masquerading as Jim Data for a period of time. And uh, I'm here in Beijing at Beihan University where uh, we are hosting the, the fifth annual meeting of uh, International uh, Space University, now headquartered in Beijing. You are hearing me in whatever language you prefer to hear me in, because we are, have these uh, capabilities of translation. Uh, but I just want to give an announcement that finally an agreement has been made that the next uh, class of ISU uh, will actually finally be held on Mars, a dream that we've long had. But because of the great work that have been done in the People's Republic of China, uh, we will be going to their base uh, on Mars, and of course it'll be entirely in Chinese, so that we're asking uh, the equivalent of Carol Meng to come and uh, give awards to all the people who have learned to speak Chinese, and we have given them their own Chinese name. Thank you. Thank you.